Lucky Block Battlegrounds, a game you have probably heard about somewhere in the Roblox community and or might have played. If you don't know all too well about the game, then you've come to the right place. The following clips in the video are just background gameplay of the game, so sit back and enjoy. Lucky Block Battlegrounds speaks for itself. It's a Battlegrounds game with lucky blocks that you can unbox to get randomized Roblox gear. According to the Roblox creation date, the game was created on February 19th of 2017. The game shortly became a hit after its release because of the unique concept of using lucky blocks. These were most obviously inspired by Minecraft as the lucky block concept came to Minecraft first. But who would have thought to add it to Roblox? Even though the game was inspired by Minecraft's lucky blocks, the developers if the game started adding more custom powerful lucky blocks that give you better randomized gear than normal lucky blocks. In order to be able to unlock these lucky blocks, you must play the game for a specific amount of time which can lead up to an hour, or you could just buy a game pass to skip all the waiting. You could unbox lucky blocks in your marked base, which basically looks like a dome, protecting you with a force field. If you leave your base once you've got some good old overpowered gear, you enter the arena where you can actually use them as your defense and attack. Some of the overpowered gear are the series of Periastron Swords, Energy Swords, and the Crescendo. Personally my combo would be the Crescendo and the Rainbow Magic Carpet, as these easily help you kill and escape certain situations. Lucky Block Battlegrounds also brought seasonal events such as holiday themed blocks which boosts the player base of the game even if it's starting to decrease. Something also very fun about the game is that the developers actually listen to their community and make changes based on suggestions which keeps the community involved and happy. Another reason why the game quickly became popular is because it's easy to understand and play. The game requires both luck and skill in order to stand out in your server. The quick success of the game inspired other developers to create Battleground games, which eventually ended up as it is today, with the most popular now being the strongest Battlegrounds. A bad thing that is happening to the game is its current player count compared to its legacy player count. The game used to be popular and clearly stood out from others, but as of today the game the game only has a few thousand players active each time if you look at the current player count. That may seem big, which certainly is, but compared to its legacy player count the game seems to have died out. Mostly new players or players that are experiencing nostalgia are playing it, ending up with only the new players sometime. Regardless of the player count, the game still has a place in the heart of the community and history of Roblox. Ask any of your Roblox friends about the game and I'm sure they'll recognize it. So what's the conclusion, you may ask? Well the game is a standout game in the history of Roblox, possibly the whole reason Battleground games as of today even exist. The entire history of the game itself makes it a beloved and support deserving game. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider subscribing or liking the video as I spent a fuck ton of time on making it. From now on, I will be making these types of videos instead of making shorts as I am not interested in making shorts anymore. If you've got any suggestions for me, feel free to tell me them in the comments.